Yo, yo, guy. I start every video with yo, yo. Like, can I be any more, like, predictable? F it. Yo, yo, guys. <laughs> so in the last video, I drew the body of Samuel Jackson. We did the head, we did the body, and now I need to make the body move. So for the sake of the example, I just drew the upper torso of the body, but I'll show you exactly what the skeleton structure... I did it again. I did it in the last video. I will show you what the skeleton structure looks like. Right, so this is the Asher character that I've got here. Right, this is the puppet. Okay, I'm not a puppet. I'm saying it's a, you know what I'm talking about. Right, so this is what the skeleton looks like. So it's literally the same way that a body would move. The same way we need like joints for the hands, joints for the arms, joints for the head, joints for the body. And you can manipulate them and make them move. So as you can see, literally from head to toe, everything's been set up to make it move. And it's through a process called binding. So binding the points that you drew to the bone, but you have to make sure all the bones connect properly. So I'll show you how I do it. So let me move my couch to the side. I just wanted to show you the full version of the body. So you actually get to see exactly how the skeleton is laid out with a full body. But for the upper torso, we're gonna create our own. So check this out, okay. So, all right, zoom in on that a little bit. Okay, so the points are in place. Let's say these are cleaned up. You know, I'm gonna go clean up a little bit. Just a little bit, because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Okay, so, <laughs> right. Zoom in, clean these up a little bit. Clean these up a little bit. Yep. Cool. Oh. All right, so that's done. Zoom out. There we go, cool. Okay, so we need to put bones on this thing, okay? So we go to this tool here, which is the add bone tool, where you can just click A, right? So as you saw in the other structure, this is how it needs to be laid out, right? So the bone is pointing up that way, all the way up to the head, and the bone's going downwards through the arms, right? Okay, so we can just mimic that same thing, make that invisible. Uh, add bones tool. Okay, so let's say the first bone bit should come about here, so it can make the lower part of the body move or stay still. We'll see. Okay, and then the main bit all the way up here, and then a little bit for the head and the neck, right? But the thing is with the neck, the neck will be attached to both that point there at the top and the middle, so the neck actually doesn't all the way move and come off and breach the edges of the traps there on the shoulder okay so okay so that's done so let me go to the arm parts so the upper arm come down here right and then come down here and then we do another bit here for the hands we'll replace them in a second right and then the same on the other side yep and then for the hands okay so to make sure all the bones move correctly you need to then make sure that they're all joined together. So you use this tool here, which is the repair and bone tool. So as you can see already off the bat, things are wrong. <laughs> things are definitely wrong. So that bone, this bone here should not be pointing to that one down there. So we need to repair that. So we need that to meet the bone in the middle and the same with the one on the opposite side. So click that and then click the repair and bone. Okay, so let's see how that moves. Right, oh, you see the bone strength, it does not need to be that strong. The bone strength will affect the way the puppet moves when you animate it, bounce and stretch and everything. So we do not need the strength that high. So we go to the bone strength tool and then drag to the left and bring it down to about the same size as the bone points themselves. Okay, so click off of that. Yeah, okay. And then go to the manipulate bone tool and see how it moves. It's not bounded right now, right? But as you can see, the skeleton, if you like, is moving as it should, which is good. That's exactly what we want, right? Okay, so we come out of that, right? So what we need to do now is attach the drawn element of the body to the bones, right? So let's start with the body, okay? So let's start the body here the bottom zoom in make sure the bone is selected and then we go to this little bit here in the bone selection bit which is bind points right 
So you can either just drag with the square or you can hold control and circle certain points that you want bound, which is what I'm about to do now. So hold control, drag all the way over to here, which is where the bone ends, right? These are all the points associated with this bone, right? And then you go to bind points. So whenever this moves here, all these points will move as well. So actually, we want to move this point down so it's within the region of the bone, so it doesn't go all crazy, which is not what we want in animation. All right, cool. So same for the upper part of the body. Select that bone, select the bind points tool, and then we can use a square for this, actually. We don't need certain points. We can just use a square for this, okay? Um, right, so hold that, drag that. We want that for the, do we need that for the whole? Yeah. So the whole upper body is right there. So, yep, bind points again. So that's done. Cool, that's that. And then go over to this bone here. And then we wanna click off the body thing and then go to upper right, okay? Then we want to do the same here. So select everything associated with the upper right. Bind points, that's that done. Same down here, make sure the bone is selected for the lower arm. Uh, yeah, lower right arm, went dumb there for a second. Right, find the points. Same for the other side. Right, okay. Upper left, find points tall. Um, yeah, lower left. points at all, select all those points, find points, bam, done. Okay, so for the neck, this is where it's a little different because we want the upper part of the neck, as I said before in the last one, to move naturally. Okay, so for the upper parts of the neck, we want to select the one that's going to be associated with both the neck and the head. So that's the bone point that is. So we select that, find points at all, and then we only lasso to about here, right? Actually, hang on. Let me use the control feature, all right? Then lasso these bits here, right? So find these points, okay? And then go to the lower part associated with the upper body, and then lasso the remaining points beneath. So it actually move naturally like a human neck, hopefully. You watch it won't, it will just make me like a fool in front of y'all. Okay. Cool. So, this guy's headless, and Sam over here needs a body. Okay, so let's get him on this naked body right here. In fact, let's just rename this Sam Jack Body. Tuh, look how white that looks right. Okay, cool. Right, so drag the head into here, into the body. Then, cool, the anchor point's in a good position. In fact, we can move the anchor point down towards the bottom of the chin. Okay, and then we want to drag and drop him above the neck. Scale-wise, that looks okay. That should be alright for now, yeah. Um, right, and then we want, with this, the head layer selected, the head group selected, sorry, we can literally go to the bind layer bit. So it's not a bone, it's a group layer. So we click on the bone with this selected, like that and as you can see it changed a bit there because the head is now associated with that bone there right so we need hands I was going to do that earlier but I do it now we need hands so I can just jack some from the Asher character so just take the left here right make that invisible and as you can see the color is a little bit different so go back into the face oh the colors already on the palette, right? Control copy. Okay. Let's just leave his hands at rest for now, right? But you would go through each one of these and then make sure all the color matches, right? And then paste. Cool, so that's a hand. It's labeled left, so we'll put this one on the left. For, to start with 
the wine width might be a little bit thick so you could literally just go down and do the same thing what we've been doing earlier and make the line width a little bit thinner make it a little bit more natural looks like it's got some big ass hands in fact we'll do that okay so open that switch layer up again go to rest select what's this is this the select shape tool i always get that mixed up all right so you can drop that down to about seven that should work fine yeah that works fine cool okay Tuh! i did all that and the left hand isn't even in the body okay but it's ready to drop into the body <laughs> cool it didn't move perfect okay so you can duplicate that to make another hand and then just label it right hand obviously it's our right but it's his left but you know what i mean label it wherever you recognize that as whatever's easy for you to work with doesn't matter all right so switch that horizontally flip it horizontally drag that across to the right side and then what you do is same thing you did with the head it's a switch layer so click on that bone with the left hand oh that's associated with the wrong one so make sure it's associated with the right one click on that and it's bound right so here we are we have our weird alien upper torso character <laughs> and then here's the moment of truth drum roll <laughs> see if it moves okay yeah oh, okay ish right oh as you can see can you see what the problem is there so it needs reordering the layers are in the wrong order but you need to go back you need to do a lot of cleaning up you need to make sure the joints are at the right point and make sure the points are at the right point as well otherwise you get things like this right so you would just extend the arm a bit extend that arm a bit so it looks like a natural bend do you know what I mean? But for the sake of this example, I'm just making it simplistic. That's my disclaimer for when things go wrong. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, so you would reposition the lower arm so it goes over the body. This hand is already over the body, so you'd move that up to there, and now it's over the body. Only thing is, now that that is over the body it's now over the upper arm and that's not right so we need to make the points on here invisible yep make those large again cool okay but you would literally go through each point of the anatomy each part of the anatomy and make sure they're over the correct layers make sure they don't breach make sure you know the points bend as they're supposed to so you go back and clean that up but for the sake of this example that's literally how you rig your drawn character and you would do the same thing with the lower part of the body clothes different accessories and things like that make sure they're bound to the skeleton that you produce so that's it man stay tuned for the next part <laughs>